The Todestadt is an opera that I, almost everybody I know knows about, but very few people have heard it and even fewer have seen it. It's an opera quite famous because uh, Korngold uh, achieved a certain fame later on as a Hollywood film composer after, or before the Second World War, actually just before the Anschluss, Korngold and his family fled uh, Austria and relocated in Southern California. And he became the most famous film composer in the world. In fact, he was a, one of the few composers who's ever achieved top billing along with the stars, it would say Betty Davis, Errol Flynn, and Eric Korngold. But before that, in Germany, he was a symphonic and an opera composer. He wrote this opera when he was only 23. It's a piece that requires an incredibly uh, virtuosic and large orchestra, along with virtuosic singing, and the parts are very hard to cast. It's uh, like casting Wagner or Strauss. It is complex. It is, uh, it, it will challenge every member of that orchestra and every singer on that stage. And Gil, it's a big, big show, uh, but it's so worth it. It's such a good piece of music. Let me tell you something now, because we've been rehearsing for an hour, and the orchestra is great. And Gil is, is fantastic. He's so clear um, and he's, uh, he's a wonderful temperament to hold this all together. It's going to be a great night. You have to hear the score. It is the work of a 23-year-old genius. The scope of it is enormous and uh, it's a real pleasure and a challenge to sing it. It's something that takes all of my energy and concentration, um, but I really love it. We also need to hear it because of the cast. I think Jay Hunter Morris is a tremendous star. And the opportunity to hear him live and close up, you know, not way back behind a pit, but on a concert stage close to the audience in such a great piece, it's fantastic. It's one thing to listen to a recording of an opera like this, but it's a different beast to hear this sound. And in the friendly confines of Jordan Hall, it's perfectly suited for Jordan in many ways uh, and Jordan's acoustical qualities because the crystal sound of, of Jordan helps you get inside very heavy, thick textures. Well, Korngold's writing is very heavy and thick, but is also very crystalline. I, I can't kind of wait to get into the hall and find out what, what goodies are there. <laughs>